weekend, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Families, Children and Social Development tweeted that the Premier of Ontario should be whacked, a mobster term for killing someone, which clearly the Parliamentary Secretary would have known. Why hasn't the Prime Minister called for his resignation? I will uh, address the member's question shortly, but first, Michael Ferguson devoted his life to public service, both in his home province of New Brunswick and across the country. We will remember him for his tireless dedication to promote a transparent, open government that is accountable to Canadians. Au cours des sept dernières années, son travail en tant que vérificateur général a amélioré notre démocratie, a garanti l'intégrité de nos institutions publiques. Nous sommes tous tristes de le voir partir. I offer my deepest condolences to Mr. Ferguson's family, friends, and colleagues. House leader. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And while we all very much appreciate the Prime Minister's words, there is an opportunity for ministerial statements later on today, and I look forward to hearing the statement at that time. I think this is an issue, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister needs to take very seriously. This parliamentary secretary has shown this kind of behaviour before when he had to apologise for trying to bully and intimidate a female Conservative MP, the member from Richmond Centre. The Prime Minister says he has no tolerance for this kind of behaviour, so again, why won't the Prime Minister ask for this parliamentary secretary's resignation. Yeah. Yeah. Prime Minister. Is well aware the member in question has apologized for his tweet. It is important that we have civil debate uh, in this House and elsewhere when we engage in matters of public pol disagreements over public policy. Well, opposition House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the tweet is still up. Yeah. The Prime Minister talks about positive politics, he talks about zero pol po tolerance, but we have a parliamentary secretary who has done this before. Now, Mr. Speaker, what kind of example does the parliamentary secretary to families, children and social development set? And furthermore, what kind of example does the Prime Minister set by continuing to tolerate this type of behaviour from that said that the Parliamentary Secretary has apologized for his tweet, and I think it's really important that we all remember uh, that there can be strong disagreements uh, over policy, over questions of substance, but we need to remain civil uh, and keep away from the personal accusations and the personal invectives whenever we have uh, political debates.